The 2018 Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to three scientists for their work on enzyme research. American scientists Francis Arnold and George Smith will share the prize with British researcher Gregory Winter. According to the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, one half of the prize, about 8 lakh 70 thousand euros, will go to Francis Arnold, a professor of chemical engineering at the California Institute of Technology. The other half of the prize will be shared by George Smith of the University of Missouri and Gregory Winter, a 67-year-old genetic engineer at the MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology at Cambridge. Frances Arnold is only the fifth woman to clinch chemistry's most prestigious honour and the first since 2009. Her research on enzymes, which are proteins that catalyse chemical reactions, laid the bedrock for the development of better industrial chemicals and pharmaceuticals. In 1993, Arnold conducted the first directed evolution of enzymes. Since then, she refined the methods that are now routinely used to develop new catalysts. The uses of Francis Arnold's enzymes include more environmentally friendly manufacturing of chemical substances like pharmaceuticals and the production of renewable fuels for a greener transport sector. We make chemistry that's, that's compatible with life. We want to use life to do our chemistry for us and make things from renewable resources. We want to develop the science and the technology that will help us survive on our planet, thrive on our planet, and share it with all the other creatures that we share it with. I am confident that the Nobel Committee will see the brilliance of the women who are coming through chemistry now. It's just such a rich resource. And as long as we encourage everyone, doesn't matter the color, gender, everyone who wants to do science, we encourage them to do it. We were go we're going to see Nobel Prizes coming from all these different groups. Women will be very successful. George Smith and Gregory Winter developed a technique called phage display to evolve new proteins. In 1985, George Smith developed an elegant method known as phage display where a bacteriophage, a virus that infects bacteria, can be used to evolve new antibodies, which are large proteins used by the immune system to neutralize harmful bacteria and viruses. Gregory Winter used phage display for the directed evolution of antibodies with the aim of producing new pharmaceuticals. The first antibody based on this method, Adalimumab, was approved in 2002 and is used for rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, and inflammatory bowel diseases. Since then, phage display has produced antibodies that can neutralize toxins, counteract autoimmune diseases, and cure metastatic cancer. Phage display is in part of a larger uh, network of, of, um, of life sciences technologies that try to uh, replicate some essential features of evolution in the test tube where where the experimenter has control of the natural selection that is going to select for the for the desired product rather than nature randomly selecting for some some product if we could think of an insect as a quotes product the nobel committee for chemistry says the winners this year have taken control of evolution and used it for purposes that bring the greatest benefit to mankind this year's prize uh, in chemistry rewards a revolution based on evolution. Uh, our laureates have applied the principles uh, of Darwin in the test tubes and used this approach to develop new types of chemicals for the greatest benefit of humankind. In their laboratories, our laureates this year have been able to direct evolution, to steer it, which has led to, the new, to new chemical tools that can be used in everything from environmentally friendly uh, detergents to the creation of new biofuels and pharmaceuticals. Arnold, Smith and Winter will receive their Nobel Prize from Sweden's King Carl XVI Gustav at a formal ceremony in Stockholm on 10 December, the death anniversary of Alfred Nobel. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV.